so take what what are we what are we having? So I've got these lamb cutlets, which I bought from my local butcher. With this kind of pan, because you get such a nice heat, I want to sear them on both sides. And right at the end, I just throw in a load of rosemary and fresh chili slices. The pans come up to temperature super quick, and then they hold the temperature, which is great. For searing meat, it's ideal because you want a consistent heat, so you get that nice crust. And the, yeah, copper pans just do that so well. We've got a delicious saffron risotto. So I just uh, saute down some onions and make a little stock with saffron and lemon zest. That stock gets ladled gradually into the risotto rice that we've toasted off nicely in the pan. I'm going to finish it with a bit of butter and tilagio cheese. It adds a really silky finish at the end. I love those kind of one-pot dishes. If you come home after a busy day at work and you just want to get enough food for you and your partner or you and your friends, yeah. a larger sort of frying pan style with the dual handles, just yeah. so nice to use. So these scallops are lovely, big hand dive scallops that I got from my local fishmonger, which I just put in a really searing hot pan in my pizza oven. We're gonna finish that with some sage, a little lemon juice and some salt. The core pans that I love are the, the low fry pans and saute pans. Yeah. I just think they're amazing, they're so versatile and the yeah. kind of things that I wanna cook in copper, I like a delicious piece of fish or scallops. It's just ideal for that kind of food. Copper is definitely more of a sort of luxury item. It's more, it's more kind of bespoke. It's, it's that next level up from, from stainless steel. And I think it's a pan that's going to last you a lifetime. And I think that's such a nice thing.